Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. This is a midweek update as I'm away this weekend for my 11 year anniversary. Can you believe it? So today, a leak that confirms body tracking on the Quest platform. New games coming soon, VR rock gigs, and so much more. So I think that is enough chin wagging. Let's get started. So let's start this off with some big news. The Quest 2 documentation leak confirming body tracking on this cheap headset. This was reported on by Upload VR, where the SDK of the Oculus Unity integration has within its feature section a bunch of options that are available to developers. There is hand tracking, which we know of. There is keyboard tracking, of course, but there is also a section for body tracking. Obviously, this could be anything since it doesn't say full body tracking. So it could just be just legs only kicking around. It could be body placement. So instead of like head oriented movement or hand orientated movement, we could have body orientated movement, which makes a huge difference if you tried the Deca move. Because I'm not sure how much vision the cameras on the Quest 2 actually get on the body. This could be in preparation for the new headset model as well, because it may have a better camera placement. Meta did not want to comment on this finding either, but we do have a version 38 update incoming soon. Could this be part of that? And another reason could be that many people have been mentioning actually is that the new workout games such as Supernatural and the martial arts one, Le Mills, both of these are now incorporating like knee kicks and knee lifts to increase the intensity of the workout. And Oculus just bought Supernatural as well, and they are very, very eager to get VR fitness on the go. So this makes perfect sense. This could be a very, very viable option. And as we've already mentioned where the cameras are based, lifting your knee would actually be visible to the camera. So this could be it. It could be needless for workout games. I was hoping for something a bit more, but this seems most likely. But interestingly though, to add to this, Upload mentioned the Facebook portal. And this is another one of Facebook's products that they love to push. So could we see Portal with Quest support for full body tracking? That would make sense to me. It makes like a perfect kind of marriage. And I would buy one of these portals if that was the case. So if they're trying to shift some, that's one way to do it. Next is a new game coming to the Oculus Quest 2, a sequel to an early Quest title, Wands. This is coined the Wands Alliance, aiming for its release in the first half of 2022. And the devs, they want to focus on that multiplayer aspect of this game where you can be in two teams facing off in three versus three matches. So let's call it a wand off. I do believe they said that this game is going to be set in the old Victorian era of London. So I do hope to hear some British heckling like, come on, Potter. Is that all you've got, mate? The teaser trailer doesn't really show anything except three weapons, which look like mini lightsabers. This could be a great game to do what Space Pirate did, where they have a co-located VR wizarding mosh pit. And speaking of mosh pits, rock out with your quest out. Because there is a, you thought I was going to say it, didn't you? There is a free, and I'll say that again, a free Foo Fighters concert available on the 13th of February, right after the Super Bowl event in Oculus venues. So it's going to keep that football hype alive, and I'm going to attend this event for sure. I love rock music. This concert is going to have 180 degree camera views, several of them, so you can bounce around to get whatever view you want inside the venue. And the concert also have augmented elements added to it as well for some extra flair for the viewers. This is a great, great way to use this tech. I can't believe it's being used for an event like this. That's so hype. So this is gonna be on from 8 p.m. Pacific time, which means, oh no, that's like four in the morning for me. Maybe I will not be attending this event. Another game that seems kind of comical is from Devolver Digital, who teased us with a tentacled monster experience. So it seems in it you'll be terrorizing this town of La Calma as an octopus, while what sounds like someone trying to be David Atom what, bruh? It's a pretty good impression, actually, to be fair. On our beautiful planet, a creature the islanders call the monster. But that's all the teas that we got. Not much else to see. Doesn't seem like my cup of tea, but it could be fun if we can destroy the town or help them grow. One of the two. Because monsters are, they're misunderstood. 
And now Sloth and Shell Games tease us once again with more Among Us content to whet our appetite because I'm so pumped to play this game in VR. So you need to follow the Among Us Twitter account because they keep tweeting out short videos, especially over the past 10 days, showing off more of the world. One was the scaled map blueprint for us to analyze, another one is what looks like a reactor room where someone can sabotage. Another is two players high-fiving each other and another room of the ship that I don't know what this is. But they just seem to be such small snippets. None of them look that incredible though because compared to what they showed us in December, that looked stunning, so crisp and so hype. I am hoping that in brighter environments that it's going to look better than that or this could be the, the GIF compression because it does not look as good as that original showing. That original showing was gorgeous. Okay, I've got to talk about this one because in my last video, I was curious on how Sony were going to deal with God Rays because they're using Fresnel lenses or Fresnel, however you want to say it, but I believe the S is silent, which is a fun fact. They are prone to God Rays, and this is a well-known fact at this point. So how are they going to tackle that with their new headset? A new report has recently highlighted that a Sony pattern has been published and has many ways of solving this problem. One describes a light absorbing layer on top of the ridges that help stop light being refracted so much and reduces the effect of the rays. And if you've seen these lenses before, the ridges are so tiny that I bet some of you didn't even know that your headset lenses even had ridges. They're actually like a McCoy's crisps, mm, steak. Mm. There are other methods as well, such as the lens have a mask over the top and they'll only let certain levels of exposed light through. And that sounds like a really great way to reduce the color of your headset, but it is a solution. There are more methods as well, but what this highlights to me is that Sony are aware of the problem and they're trying many different ways to solve it. So I'm really excited to see what solution they went with when the PSVR 2 drops. And finally, let's end this on a mind blowing piece. <laughs> The Quest 2 now nearly accounts for half of all Steam VR headsets at a crazy 46%. And on top of that, Oculus headsets as a total counts for two thirds of all headsets available on Steam. And obviously that doesn't include anyone that's using the Quest headset as a standalone device only. It's gonna take a lot for a company to come out now swinging and make a dent in that, but somebody needs to, cause although this is great for VR, it's growing, this kind of monopoly is not good for consumerism. So somebody please slow down Meta and bring out something that we can dive on. But how are you supposed to compete when someone's releasing a headset like this at that price, making a loss on it? It's, it's so tough. And on top of that, in January of 2022, we surpassed 3.4 million VR users connected to the Steam platform. Let's just bathe in that for a minute. <laughs> This is amazing, and this is partly thanks to us, the community, as early adopters, sharing our passion, sticking with it when times got tough, and the results speak for themselves. So I'm just going to end this video on that happy little one. I'm so, so excited for the future. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. Please consider subscribing, and hopefully, I will see you next time. Happy gaming! Good day!